President of Mali, Asimi Guetta, arrived in Burkina Faso on June 25, 2024, for a friendly and working visit. He was received at the Ouagadougou Airport by the President of Burkina Faso, Captain Ibrahim Chouaoué. Subsequently, the two presidents had a working session. At the end of the work, the Malian president hosted a press briefing. I would like to thank the president, Ibrahim Chouaoué, for the warm welcome which was reserved for my person and my delegation that accompanies me. I would like to salute the bonds of fraternity and good neighborhood between our two states, Burkina Faso and Mali. We are not only linked by geography and culture, but above all by the challenges. We took stock of quotes of our cooperation on the plan bilateral discussion. The question of security, about the plan of economic development. But above all, we talk about the challenges we face and how to develop the strategy in order to be able to manage these challenges. And we also have identified perspective oriented towards not only the civilization of the population, but above all towards the socio-economic development of our states. The security situation in Mali is under control and, as we see in the military jargons used to describe them, and Mali comes from far away, it was necessary to deconstruct an entire system that had been imposed on us, and for that we had to adopt postures intractable and to allow us to actually take our destiny into our hands. Today it is clear and that the FEMs are moved to all the national territory and that is one prior aspect. The second aspect today there was the return of the administrations whether it is governor, divisional officers, sub-divisional officers. The third aspect today we are regulating basic social services and we have managed today to organize and to organize the activities including the referendum for the new constitution but above all the intermalian dialogue that was initiated in all our national territory that was seized by the former and saying that it was not easy today we evolve in autonomy that is why the offensive actions always takes place during the day and their destruction of bases of logistic terrorist groups and their many intelligence on terrorist leaders and their sense of ego that created Islamic State in the Sahel. But above all, today it is the reduction of many terrorists. Not later than yesterday, there were terrorists who laid down their arms. Unfortunately, it's children of 15 years, but it is so strange to notice that fear has changed sight. Today in Mali, concerning this year, I am confident and that the situation is under control. And when you look today with the dynamic of the creation of the AES, but the more important is that people should not lose life. The Sahel was a train of confrontation. The question of geopolitics, geoeconomic and geostrategic of foreign countries and our countries are victims today of this train of confrontation. And when you look at the presence of the different terrorist groups who are supported by foreigners, it is no secret. But today, we have taken our destiny in our hands. And when we understood Mali, Niger, Burkina Faso, we have decided to take our destiny in our hands. We decided to exit these fake partners. We decided to leave ineffective partners. And we are oriented today towards sincere partners, such as Russia, China, Turkey. And this actually enables us to equip ourselves and to put efficient operation against terrorist armed group and within the framework of the creation of the AES. Today, we have very good dynamic within our three states and this dynamic allowed us today to carry out operations conveniently. There were a lot of neutralization of terrorist groups. Many bases were destroyed. So to tell you today, it is true that he is still going around Having this communication, 
I call media terrorism, which we try to always neutralize our activities and our success. But this situation is under control because today we carry out our operation without pressure. Free operation without asking permission from anybody. With accountable results. So I think that today the situation in Sahara is stable. But there will always be incident because there is no 100% security. This security cooperation on which we are today has been improved and reinforced with the arrival of President Traoré. Today this cooperation is between three levels. The first part is that of training. Conduct joint training between our two states to strengthen our operational capabilities, that is, territorial areas. Also, there is the information sharing component between our various intelligence services. But also, there is the militarization of our means. One of the difficulties in the fight against terrorism is to first of all protection of the borders but the main difficulty is the law on prosecution but today this right of prosecution is an acquired fact at the level of our state and today Burkina Faso is authorized to conduct operations to pursue terrorists on Marian soil and women too are authorized to carry out operations pursue terrorist groups inside Burkina Faso when necessary we have this dynamic and that we must continue to strengthen. Terrorism today has become a geopolitical issue of certain strategic partners. This challenge of the fight against terrorism today, which is manipulated, financed by certain foreign powers, today is far from meeting the aspiration of our population. Reasons why we have decided not only to exit the fake partnership we face, to organize between us, to pool our resources. We know today no country can do it alone in the face of the terrorist threat. We need to pool our resources. We need to share the information. You know, like me, there have been many terrorist leaders who were killed in Burkina, in Mali, in Niger, and therefore the most recent that we sought by the, the American army. But today we have neutralized successfully. So it is to say today our destinies are linked. And we took a part of no return to make it clear our destinies are linked. And we will work to respond to the aspiration of our people. But above all, integrate the two other aspects concerning the creation of AES, which is the evolution of our diplomacy and the evolution of development. As they say, there is no security without development, as it will have no meaning. Therefore, the most important for us is to be effectively secured and developed so that we can truly meet the aspiration of our different peoples within the AES. When you look Niger's resources, strategic like Mali, like Burkina Faso, look in terms of minerals. We can talk about development without talking about agriculture, not to mention commerce, talking about infrastructure and above all industrialization. Today, experts are working and will make us proposals. Let's see to what extent we will implement these different proposals for the development well-being. Africa, wake up. Africa, rise up. Africa, without borders. Africa, continental free trade area. The time is now. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.